Puppet power. No more. 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 Puppet power. are basically investment treaties that developing countries are signing with developed countries. Part of those investment treaties include a very, um, a very crucial provision, legal provision, which allows companies to sue governments in private courts, private arbitration panels. Many people are not aware about these uh, bilateral uh, investment and trade agreements that their governments entered into uh, for one because they are very secretive um, the agreements um, are agreed and governments sign without informing their people about it and in many cases uh, people's livelihood are affected these BITs are encroaching into the policy space of developing countries where now developing countries are not able to develop their own economies but to protect the investments of other countries who are there to extract especially raw materials for their own development and who are actually trampling upon the social, economic, cultural and environmental rights of the people and the communities in which they are extracting those resources. There's a, a case, that uh, the Fraport case, where the, a German uh, corporation sued the Philippine government uh, for a failed uh, airport project, which, which the Philippine government canceled, um, in, the, in trying to defend against that claim of that corporation. The Philippine government had to spend about $58 million just to defend its claim. So for a country, a poor country like the Philippines, that's a lot of money that could have otherwise gone to support uh, health uh, objectives, to, so, to build uh, better schools, to provide uh, subsidies to farmers. You know. So what do we need to do? I think we just need to come back to the drawing board uh, as a people, as a nation, as governments, as a region, and define what exactly we need as countries for, in order for us to ensure that people get the best out of their own resources. But we cannot get the best out of the resources from our former colonizers, because what they are after are just profits, and if we fail to give them those profits, they will just leave and leave a trail of destruction. But we need to come back, come up with our own alternatives. It is very, very crucial that people become informed about bits and, and at the same time um, have a way to um, influence how governments enter into, in, into these kinds of agreements. The most important um, answer lies this in the hands of developing countries themselves. Uh, South Africa, Brazil, India can say no to such unjust treaties if they do not agree to the investment state dispute uh, provision um, then you cannot have these companies um, they cannot sue the governments. We need a hell of a lot more power and a lot more people than this to challenge the beast that is this investment regime. And so one of the things that we need to do in the next year is begin a strategic and methodic outreach effort to the social movements and the people who care about the things this regime affects but may not be familiar with how the investment scheme actually works. To the people, power to the people, power to the people.